Hey guys, it's your girl, Time for Lily. Um, today we're doing something different. You probably already saw it in the title, but today we're reviewing this thing. Oh wow, that's zoomed in. Oh dear. Yeah, I'm still recording on my iPad because the phone I used to record with is dead. But good luck with this. You're just gonna have to deal with it. Um, this is a Toshiba from right T thirty one hundred E slash forty. The forty stands for the forty megabyte hard drive, which is, if I'm right, uh, a mini SCSI, like a SCSI for portable computers. Wow, my iPad fits the screen exactly. <laughs> um, yeah. So this is the screen. It's a plasma display. Unfortunately, by the way, the internal hard drive, the SCSI, is dead. Sometimes, like, very rarely it just starts up. I hope I have that luck with in this video. I'll try to film it while it's working and show you around on the system. But you'll see that at the end of the video if I manage to do that. And uh, I'll edit in uh, the details right over here at the bottom of the screen if it worked or not. Um, with iMovie on this iPad. Yes, I kid you not. Um... So let's just boot this thing up, see if we have the luck. Charm! Magic charm, work. Ooh! Ain't gonna work, is it now? Ah! My iPad does not like the plasma display. Sorry, I'll put on laptop, an epileptic cheese your warning at the start of the video. <laughs> oh dear. Um, yeah, so. From right, let me just double check that with my normal eyes, not with my screen. 640k base memory and 896k extended, which means it has about a megabyte and a half of memory. So that's where you go. It's thing 1.5 megs of memory. It has a little floppy drive over here. I think that's 1.4 megs. I'm not sure though. And at the back, the ports we have are very little. They actually have only what you might need. Like for productivity with the Mac supported Windows, which is Windows 3, you would have a, um, where are you, a serial port over here for my slash external keyboard, only one, a parallel I.O. port, and an RGB video port. Now that's classic. Um, so if you wanted something else than the red, red orangey plasma display, then that would be... Only with the RGB port, but they would technically just be turning it into a normal desktop. Um, the keys are very not clicky. Those have completely died out to the ears. And I just can't get used to this layout because control is over here, shift is F here, F here, shift is over here, old is over here, caps lock is here. And function was the thing then, which surprised me because I didn't know that before I had this thing. I got this from a friend of mine. Um, can't name the name for price reasons. Sorry for the terrible focus. There we go. Got him. Focus. Thank you. So, Control, Shift, Alt, Caps, Function. The spacebar is slightly clicky though, so that did maintain its click a little bit. Um, yeah, the arrow keys are over here. Luckily, those have a normal form factor. Because some of them have them like all next to each other over here. Yeah, delete is over here, not over here, that's system something, I don't know what that is. Print screen, though hardly anything used at the time as far as I know, so why? I don't know. Scroll lock for if you're using a mouse that has a scroll wheel, which hardly anything did at the time, so I still don't get that. Quite ahead of the time. Num lock, well, duh, but what numbers is it trying to lock, if I may ask? There is there a no numpad over here not even on the keys over here as function types like weird um page up home down and blah 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 and that's pretty much the keys the function keys do go up to 10 because f11 and f12 weren't really common in the time that's what i know but yeah in the meantime disappeared so i might as well show you the bias which you can only access in cases like this for some reason it probably will start up with a floppy drive though, but I don't have those. But if I can get myself a DOS 1 floppy, I'm definitely going to boot it up with that and see how that works. Those things are hard to get by in the Netherlands. Um, yeah, so... Yep, it's January 1, 1989 today. Welcome, matey. That's not true. Um, 
Yeah, so the internal hard drive, this is correct because these are the default settings and these correspond to the internal hard drive. Um, 615 cylinders, um, 4 heads, um, 17 sectors, and I don't remember what cap is. I think that's caps or something. Um, I don't know. Tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, 640 kilobytes of, I already told you that, so this is practically just... Together, this would add up to about a megabyte and a half, as far as I know. But I'm not too sure anymore because this is saying something different than the startup said. Uh, the internal keyword is 84 keys. I'm not going to count them. I'm going to count them after the fact, and I'll show you right there at the top left of the screen because I can because I'm changing for no good reason. Screw bottoms. Um, yeah, I set some things myself. Like I changed the font to double because I don't really like the single dot. Fonts like the because those are like very thin. And I like the DOS esque fonts which are over here. Um, plasma font sense standard blah, blah blah. This is the display card. It's just a CGA plasma display with 80 by 25. Um, I think uh, I don't know how they're called. Like squares, like bits, like this finger or work along like this part over here or this part where the letter is. I don't know. But that might also be the pixels. That seems illogical because, as far as I know, that would be something of like 320 by 240. I'm not sure though. I think it's a 4 4 to 3 display though, what goes with aspect ratio. Uh, expansion card none. You can add expansion cards on the back if you remove a lid, which were only to Shiba specific. So, there was no way you're, there's no way you're gonna find. An expansion card for this thing easily. And people are screaming downstairs. Because they think they need to be heard in North America. All the way from Holland. Uh, printer port type. Wait, stamps printer board. Alright, I think that's parallel. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. For this laptop. I'm trying to hit the 8 minute mark here. So, yeah, this thing is pretty dead. <laughs> unfortunately. Um, but yeah, this is a pretty nice laptop. Uh, no, portable computer. And over here we have some status lights. I almost forgot that. Still trying to hit the 8 minute mark. <laughs> Just kidding. Not kidding at all. Power and speed. I don't know what speed would mean. Hard disk drive, which just blinks up the whole time when it's trying to boot. Floppy disk drive. Um, CRT. Which means, which probably means this thing could connect to a CRT display. Which is probably the RGB. Caps lock, num lock, and scroll. Why is scroll lock on? Did I press that? Oops. So as you can see, yeah, if I press scroll lock. Sometimes if I'm bored, I just turn this thing on. I just, like, press the random buttons. Yay! It's flashing lights. Oh, no! Oh, no! So, about that, yeah. Off you go, caps lock. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Um. So, yeah. So, if you like this video, which was recorded on a Hades iPad 4th generation, leave a like, you know, the thumbs up BS, um, hmm, what more? Oh yeah, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to the hyper me that I am, and hit the bell to be head first on the videos I hardly ever upload, but hit the bell. Say ya, ciao, time for Lily, out. Oh, wait a second. Do check my other channel if you like if you'd like to hear music made by me. It's called Snow Lily Official. Um, I'll put a link down below because I can't use cards yet. Subscriber count, huh? So get that subscriber count up if you want me to be able to use cards. Thank you. Bye. Hey, here I am a few weeks later in the car. I forgot something. Of course, I can just put the button for my other channel right over here Boop. so that shouldn't be too big of a deal ha 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 funny now I just need to hit 30 seconds so I can put it from there ja